That girl is so hot. How about we make it a foursome for the national champs? I mean, we could score her, man. Seriously. Just get out of my face, man. What's wrong? I thought you liked her. I didn't say I didn't. It was just... I'll just get off a case, OK? Ooh, ah. Turkey's in love with Tori. Piss off. <laughs> hey, here's five bucks that says you're chasing someone else by the chance. What sort of a mate are you? Ah. <laughs> you're on, man. Come back. Come on, five bucks. My leg it collapsed. Well, there doesn't seem to be any fracture, so you can rest assured on that count. Is that me? Is that my leg? I certainly hope so, Kirk. Yes. <laughs> but we have found something on the lower femur that we're not too sure about, so we'll need to do some tests. What do you think it is? There's an irregularity on the bone, this pale bit here. It may be nothing, of course, but. Is that what they thought might have been a bruise? I mean, the bone's bruise. Well, they can do, but this needs investigating just to rule out the various possibilities. Now, Kirk, uh, we've got you a bed in Ward 6. But don't worry, it'll only be for a few days. Tama. This is Kirk Tama. He's going to be your new roommate for a little while. Mm. Mm. And this mm. is Owen. And this is your bed here, Kirk. Your own light. And this button here will call you a nurse, OK? This is your headset for the radio. And there's a kitchen at the nurse's station where you can make yourself a cup of tea. So you come on down at any time, all right? OK. OK. Thanks a lot. You better wear the hospital pajamas tonight. We'll bring your own things in the morning. Do you think you're going to be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. All right, well, hang in there, mate. Everything's going to be fine, I'm sure. Good night, son. See you, Dave. Goodbye, darling. Don't worry about her. That's just Marty. She thinks she's really hardcore. Sorry? Play chess? Sorry? Chess? Yeah, yeah, a bit. What are you in for? Nothing. Just tests. Yeah, me too. I just had a course of chemo. Now I'm having tests if they got it all. You're all skate. <laughs> 
Yeah, speed skate. I mean, these are just my streets, but we've got national champs coming out soon. Oh, yeah. i got it here. Been here six months now. What's it like, you know, in here? Depends what you got. Can't sleep? Come on, I'll get you a hot drink. You know Owen? Yes? Is, is that what they think I've got? Cancer. Don't be afraid to say it. Yeah, well, is it? Well, we don't know. That's why you have to do some tests. Just take one day at a time, Kirk. Right? Well, it's almost four o'clock in the morning. I've got rounds and you better go to bed. Good night. What's wrong? Seen a ghost?
Alec, Maureen, Kirk, thanks for coming in. Would you like to take a seat? Uh, hope you found some parking. <laughs> Not easy out there, is it? No. Well, we have our results back, and they're conclusive. Kirk has an advanced osteosarcoma on the lower left femur. And what exactly is that? A malignant tumour in the bone, just above the knee. You mean cancer? I've got cancer? Yes. OK. It's important for you all to realise that this is potentially a life-threatening condition. So we have to move quickly. First, we've got to save Kirk's life, and then we can talk about the quality of life. OK, OK, so, 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 let's look at this. What, what does that entail? We have to remove the tumour. Hang on, what do you mean remove? Kirk, just, just, just wait a minute. Let the doctor finish. Well, it may mean amputation of the leg. But before we can do anything else... Just get control of yourself. Just don't panic. Everything's gonna be okay. We just gotta get ourselves organized here, okay? It's gonna go with the champs, it's gonna go with Tori and Rodney. I don't want to lose my leg! Son, I know how you feel. You don't, you don't, just leave me alone. Just calm down, son, just calm down. There's no use panicking. Nothing is definite yet. We've got to wait. But I don't want to lose my leg. Look at me. Am I sick? I'm not sick. Look at me. How bad is it? Don't know. They're going to give me chemotherapy. It's a whole lot of drugs and it makes it pretty sick. But it's supposed to kill the cancer. So they're not going to operate? Well, they talked about it. But they reckon the chemo will do the trick. It's about three months. So I guess you won't want to be hanging around the hospital all that time. What do you mean? Well, the chemo is pretty heavy stuff. I'm not going to look much for a while. Looks aren't everything. No, you see, it's it's worse than that. You lose your hair. I've seen them; they're bald. Or well, maybe you haven't got it that bad but it's not the disease that gives it to you. It's the treatment. So what I'm saying is, if you found someone else, I wouldn't expect you. I'm not going to walk away. Tori, we haven't been going out long, and I don't want your pity. So if that's why it's you... It's not why. Oh, look, you said for you it was different. Well, it's different for me too. Are you frightened? No. Yeah. Alrighty, Kirk. It's called a port. 
Uh, we implanted in your chest with this tube going into the subclavian vein. Have a little look. Thanks. Then we can inject the chemotherapy straight into your heart and send it instantly to every part of your body. It also allows us to take blood from it at any time. If we kept using these small vessels in your hand and arms, we'd get tissue damage and the walls would collapse. How long do I have to have it in me? What, as long as you need treatment? Uh, three months, six months, a year, we'll just have to wait and see. I thought it was going to be three months. Well, we'll start with three months and see what happens. Now, there's going to be quite a bit of discomfort, and you could go through periods of depression. You need to be aware of that before you start. Yeah, I know. Be staunch. What? Staunch. Staunch? Yeah, that's good. You'd be staunch. So all these chemicals here are cytotoxic, so you have to be very careful not to let them touch any skin surface, right? And all gloves and syringes go into disposal. So, Kirk, you're going to feel a burning sensation in your throat and stomach. And you may feel a little bit sick, but it's perfectly normal. Ready? Yep. Here we go. How'd you feel? <sighs> no burning sensation. No? No. But it feels like someone stuck a skyrocket up my bum. <laughs> <laughs> You slow down, Marty. Can't stop now, nurse. Marty? I'm late for school. Hello, Kirk. Welcome on board. You must be about the same age as Marty. Let's put the two of you together, shall we? Marty, we don't need that, thank you. You do your maths. Go on, everybody. Get on with your work. Michael? Yep. Ellison? Here. Rebecca? Yes. Tony? Yep. Tama? Yep. Paula? Yeah. Owen? Owen? He went upstairs last night. He was my friend. Yeah, well, he's not now. He's a loser, and we don't say his name anymore. Isn't he the kid who plays chess? Yeah. What's upstairs? That's all seven. That's where you go when you're gonna die. Kirk? Were you here or not? Here. Yeah, I'm here. Good. Problem. I got no problem. You're the one doing the chemo. Then get out of my face. Are you awake? Uh. I bought you some. Grapes and stuff. Oh, and there's a card there from the guys. It's pretty silly, really. I thought you might like a laugh. Yeah. I love having a laugh in here.
Off you go, Marlene. Curiosity killed the cat, you know? Go on. Off you go. What's wrong? Nothing. You just taste funny like me. I thought you loved me. I don't. I can't when you just... Why do you come? Why, why do you lie to me? That's not true. I have only ever tried to help you. Why do you come? Come on now. Let's calm down, shall we? Just go! Shh. Go. Doesn't help, shall we? Make it easy. Oh. Sorry, don't go. Just wait for me outside. We'll settle down in a minute. It's gonna be fine. It's okay. Okay, we've tried the chemo and it hasn't worked. So where do we go from here? What, what's the next stage? Well, we still have to get rid of that tumour. You're going to cut my leg off. Kirk, just hang on. Don't get so categorical about That's what he means. Things. That's what you mean, isn't it? We may need that option. Well, couldn't you just cut out the bad bit? Yes. Yes, we could. Uh, we could take out the bone surrounding the tumour site and replace it with a surgical steel rod. But it's not a very reliable method. And if we don't take out every single cancer cell, it could spread. We could be right back at the start again. That's why it's better not to take the risk. Just take the whole leg off. It's safer. I'm not losing my leg, Kirk. I'm not losing my leg. It's right on my knee. If you put that pin in, what would happen to my knee? Well, the knee would have to go. It's a straight steel rod. You wouldn't be able to bend your leg. You'd have to learn to walk again. It wouldn't be easy. Kirk, I think we're going to have to talk about this. It's just not the kind of thing where you can make a quick decision. I'm not losing my leg. So what did you choose? The X or the pin? It's the guys to walk, sir. The wimps usually take the easy option. So what are you? Ah, oh, not speaking to me now, eh? Ignore me and I'll go away, right? Well, wrong. You see, give them back. Ah, oh, speaking to me now, eh? Do you think you can treat people however you want? Rip them off and get away with it just because you're cancer? Nothing special around here. You know what you are? You're just a vulture. Only you can't even be bothered waiting till people die. You just nick their stuff as soon as their backs are turned. We're we supposed to feel sorry for you, is that it? Well, hard luck, girl, because nobody cares a damn about you, so give them back. Take them. Marty? You all right, Kirk? It wasn't a bloody second. Yeah, where well, you are. Marty, what on earth do you think you're doing? And you're just the same as everyone else, Bubby. I'm gonna get you, Marty. So, Kirk, the big day. I won't wake up halfway through the operation, will I? <laughs> this is just to make you relax. And you'll get the anesthetic when you get into theater. Hi. You, Kirk? Yeah. Away we go, then. Here we go. Make sure they don't cut your head off by mistake. Tell yeah, oh, 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 I've, I've got to go back. I've forgotten something. You can get it later, mate. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. I've forgotten something. What can you do? What? Help. Help me, hijack. Someone help me. Someone help me. Someone help me. What are you doing, Marty? Just getting back some tapes that I lend them. Funny looking tapes. I only wanted to borrow it. What, for your hair? But it's growing back beautifully, Marty. It looks nice. It looks sick! Marty, those kids belong to Kirk. And what's he gonna do with them with a the stupid pin on his leg? He gave it to me, they're mine!
it's not you again. Why don't you just leave me alone, you pain in the ass? I feel it's mutual, man. Say something to bang it into me when you wake up. Oh. Oh. It'll pass. Everything passes. You just have to give it time. Got some lollies for you, Kate. Ah, sorry, man. Okay, I had some chocolates. A couple of skate mags. Yeah, some, uh, I didn't get some CDs. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Mum said some biscuits, dude. Oh, yeah, I hosted you too. What's the food like? What's the food like? Got a TV, man? Yeah, yeah, we got a little money. You see this? Peter, if you. Uh, champs were good. Yeah. Everybody oh, asked about champs. They all know. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Big drink. Yeah. Yeah. Good drink too. Yeah. Yeah. Good drink. Who won? Oh, who do you think? Oh, that prize prick Thompson from Wellington. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, if you'd been there, Kirky, you would have creamed him, man. I promise you. Yeah, you would have killed him. Same with the relays. Wellington again. If you'd have been there, dude, we would have wiped the floor with him. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? How bad is it? What did they do exactly? I'll show you if you want. You want to see? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, sweet yeah. story. We won't lose our lunch over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we will. <laughs> yes. They didn't do it by a half, so. It's a bit worse than I expected. It doesn't even hurt. Continuous blast of morphine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tripping 24 hours a day. <laughs> cool. Cool, man. Never hey, um. We should swap places, man. Yeah. I don't think so. Well, hey, um, we better get going, eh? Go on, guys. <laughs> Help. See you later. We'll see you later. See you later, Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. Break your neck, bro. How are you? Okay. You can, can I come to visit me again? Yeah, of course. Don't really deserve it, do I? Hey. Hey, we're off now. Are you coming? Or? Yeah, I'll be there. Do you still love me? Sorry. I better go. See you, Kirk. You can borrow my things, but you have to learn to give them back. You've got more of my stuff than I do. Why can't you just wait until I die? It'd be long the way you're going. Anyway, what are you blubbing about? They're no loss. 
piss off them. We're oldest friends. Your yeah, oldest right. What would you know? I know that they look like they're going to puke up a pancreas when they saw that scar of yours. Don't you know? He threw the door. He threw the door and they can't come. Don't even want to. What kind of friends is that? You know so much about friends, eh, Marty? All the visitors you get. I don't need them, that's why. Oh, leave me alone. It's... Oh. Kirk, if you don't exercise that leg, the blood from your surgery will stay congealed. So? So it could cause a thrombosis, and that could kill you. Big deal. You know, it would have been a whole lot easier if you had a leg off, but you didn't. You chose to have the pin, and that was your choice, so now you have to live with it. Okay. I'm going to have my break now, but when I come back, you're going to be up on those bars, right? And give those skates back to Kirk, Marty. Are you ever gonna walk or what? I want to know. You're really depressing the place. If you want to give up and die, it's your problem. But forget the slow suicide stuff. It's boring. Piss off, Marty. Take my skates off. Why? You're never gonna use them again? Why don't you just top yourself quick and get over and done with? Come on, I'll give you a hand. Get the frig alone, Marty. Piss off, Marty! Marty! Cut it out! Marty! Marty! Cut it! What are you gonna do, Stroud? Go on, go under! It's easy, man! Just go down! No! Get it over and done with. You're gonna die anyway. Go on, die. That's it. Stop it, Marty. What do you think you're doing? You're not on the streets now, you know, aren't I? I want my skates back. In. Why don't you get up? Why haven't you got the balls? Thought it was gonna be easy, eh? Thought you're gonna be the big hero. Go away. Big chap. How are you gonna skate if you can't even walk? Ah! Not supposed to happen to little rich kids, eh? Yeah, but I'm not a loser. You know what happens to losers. I walk when I want to. You're already too late. Hey, you better show me how to use this thing, eh? Because the nurses will give it to me anyway after you're gone. Uh, I get heaps of this kind of stuff every time I do a roll call. Put one leg in front of the other. It isn't hard.
No way. Hang on. I didn't bring the skates. You leave the crutches. I can't. I knew you'd say that. Very good. You know what's in there? Yeah, Marty. I know what's in there. There you are. You're not supposed to be up there, you know that? Come on down. Come on, Marty. Need a hand cook? Marty, why don't you give him a break? He doesn't have to do it. Well done. You know you two make the weirdest mates. Mates? I'm waiting for the lady to wake up and she's finally gone. You can't see it, can you? What? That you're the first person that girl's ever taken an interest in. She's almost human now. It's not a girl. It's Mike Tyson on a bad day. <laughs> what about hanging these up for a while? Marty! Kirk, how'd you like to go home for a few days? Why am I cleared? No, uh, we still have to do some more tests. But you're pretty stable now, and you've been making good progress with your leg, so we thought you might like a little homestay. Yeah, that'd be great. And while you're with your folks, you might like to give some thought to your options if the tests don't turn out the way we'd like them to. Why? Do you think they might? Well, until we get them back, we can't know. All I'm saying is... You want to amputate? It's a question of options. We may need that option. Talk it over with your folks, eh? Forget it, Marty. Why? You can do it. It's only easy. Here, give me your crutches. It's okay for you. You've got two knees.
we supposed to be out here? What, are you scared? No. <laughs> you don't like breaking rules, eh? I don't like it. Sure. Heard you got a homestay coming up. Going home to see Mummy and Daddy? Yeah, what's wrong with that? With all your staunch friends. Friends teach you how to walk? They weren't there. Yeah. Out the door, like I said. It's not their fault. <laughs> sure. So you're gonna wear your hospital hat when you go home to see your staunch friends? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you're incredible. You've got cancer in your smoke. Who cares? You're gonna die anyway. Not me. So how come you never go on homestays? My home's not as flash as yours. What's that got to do with it? Maybe I'll take you one day and you'll see. How long you been here? Longer than anyone else. I know every kid that's been through here in the last two years. When they first brought me in here, I was supposed to die, eh? But I didn't feel like it. So now I just hang around to piss off all the doctors and nurses. You're scared, eh? No. Of course you are. Everybody's scared of dying. Except me. You'll see. Let's sort of see how you got. What's the matter? I got it. Then one day it's going to kill me, but not till I'm ready. My time. See that? You can't say you've seen the whole of the moon if that's all you've seen. You got to see the whole thing. Well, it's me. I'm going to see the whole of the moon first. Watch this. Yeah, what about it? They think you're really tough around here now, don't they? Where well, you show them how you could walk and swim. Now, that was really staunch. You like staunch, eh? Yeah. You want to try some real staunch? Don't mind. Hang on to the corners. Marty, show me your arm. An 
long has it been like that? A couple of days. Fell over. I've been looking at your latest test results, Marty, and they're not good. Does that mean I have to go back on chemo again? Well, as soon as we can. You've got a secondary infection on your chest. We'll have to cure that before we can start you on chemo again. Nah, don't bother. I'll stick with the secondary, thanks. I wish it was that simple. Well, it is. I mean, leukemia is a terminal illness, right? It can be. Well, I haven't got it then. Because terminal means you die. Okay, Sam? Yeah. I got a call from John Dixon today, and there's something that we we need to get sorted out. Now, listen, I know how you feel. No, you don't. Well, I got a pretty good idea. No, you don't. You have no idea. All right, I got no idea how you feel, and I can't guess, right? I'm stupid. Let's just leave it at that. But the fact is, we got a problem that we need to resolve. Yeah. You want to cut my leg off? I don't want to cut your leg off, Kirk. Can we stop this? But we have to decide what to do with it if this operation hasn't been successful. My leg is not it. Oh, for God's sake, Kirk. No, no, my leg is not it. My leg is me. And it's my cancer, not yours, mine. It's my body and you can't have it. All right. All right. But listen, we still have to decide. No, we don't have to decide anything. It's me, me, me. I have to decide. Oh, I see. So you're taking over now. You're, you're going to run the whole show yourself. Is that it? Yes. Yes, that is it. That's exactly it. Leave a manic. Oh, for God's sake. Hi. Hell's home. Okay. See your friends? Yeah. I saw the doctor. Yeah, well, what's the story? I can go home. <laughs> really? That, that, that's fantastic, Marty. When? Soon. Hey, that, that, that's, that's wonderful. Where, where are you going to stay? Friends. I thought you said... I said I didn't need them. I didn't say I didn't have any. I've got lots of friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll be able to go home and visit then, I guess. Come along, Marty. Time for bed. You're exhausted. Hello, Kirk. How was home? It's good, yeah. It's good. Hi, Kirk. Hi. Now, you can make me one too, if you like. Sure. Great about Marty, eh? 
What? Going home. She told you she was going home? Yeah, well, she told me the doctor had cleared her. And you believed her? Yeah, why not? Because it was Marty that said it. Marty's a sick girl. And she'll get a lot sicker if she doesn't rest and take her medicine. But anyway, where did you think she'd go? I don't know. Home. She, she said friends. Well, she might have friends, but she hasn't got any home. Don't you know how she came in here? No, not really. All I know is that she's sort of been here forever. The police brought her in. They found her under a bridge, thought she was dead. She had leukemia. She's had three courses of chemo, and we didn't think she'd survive, but she did. So when she went into remission, there was nowhere we could send her. So she's been here ever since, under observation. Yeah, well, I sort of guessed it was something like that. So you see, this is Marty's home, and all the friends she's got are right here, like you. You're her friend, aren't you, Kurt? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. You're probably the best friend she's got. That's good for both of you. But you don't want it to go too far. She's been through some terrible things, and you could get hurt. Why don't you want to hurt a friend? What I mean is you don't want to get involved in something you can't handle. You're going to need all your strength to fight your own battle, Kirk. What are you dressed up like that for? I told you. I'm cleared. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's not true, Marty. You haven't been cleared at all. Yeah, I have. Who by? By me. I'm going to find the whole of the moon. That's crap, Marty. It's a game. It's not real. Yeah, well, for me it is. So what's going to happen to your treatment? You can't just walk away, you know. Why not? Because you'll die. That's why not. Everybody dies. Oh, that's dumb. But it's true. Go and do what you like, I don't care. Doesn't matter then, does it? Why don't you just jump off? It'll be quicker. There's no pool down the bottom to catch me. They stop doing your exercise then. Oh, look, Marty, Marty, wait. I lied to you. I don't want you to go. You're the only friend I've got. You're right about my old friends. <sighs> old is right. They just... I don't know. Haven't been through the door? Haven't been through the door. Marty, please don't go. Have to, eh? I've decided. My time. You want to come? I mean, I could show you my place and... <laughs> Smart move. My place ain't much chop. Anyway, you got to stick with your treatment. I mean, uh, no sense of you getting any worse. I guess I won't come and visit then. See ya. Marty! Marty! 
Everybody wait for me! On the street. No, I'm just cruising, Sui. We'll take care of you. You always got a place for you, girl. Get in line. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Just, just go away. You're gonna need more than crutches. You wouldn't know a crutch if it was sitting on you. Hey, hey. You're not worth getting thrown out for me. Yeah, all thunder and no lightning. Uh, yeah, later. You gone, man? Who is that, Jim? Sui. He's one of my old mates. Come on, we better get out of here. Why? What's he gonna do? He'll whip your arm off and hit you with a soggy end. Come on! Kirk? Rumble, eh? No props on this stuff, Toby. Don't waste your time, man. Get in the way, girl. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. both have hats of some kind, and they haven't got any hair. Yes, they're both bald. And the boy has crutches, and his left leg is stiff.
So this is your place, huh? Sure. Very nice. Help yourself. You okay? What is it? You know how you said I'm the only friend you've got? Yeah. Well, I used to have a friend. Her name was Tuck. Me and her were real good mates, because we had the same life in them. Those boys you met tonight, Tui and them, they used to, they used to beat us up a lot, so me and Tuck, we looked after each other. She was good, Tuck. Where is she now? <laughs> Gone. Now you're my mate. Yeah. Never thought I'd have a friend like you. Me neither. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. I just yeah, felt... I know what you felt, but... Well, you fellas are the same. Two and all, then. That's all they ever thought of, too. Honey, I'm sorry. I mean it. I just want... I just want to hold you. We'll, we'll be close. That's all. Mates. Marty. That's what happened to Tuck. One night, there was a party in an old building. And some boys got us aside and took turns. Kicked us around a lot. Had themselves a real good time on us. I got away, but Tuck didn't. He just kept on kicking her kicking her. Till she died. She, she, she was my friend. decide what we're gonna do. Nothing, just hang out here. I can get us food and everything. Get real, Matty. <laughs> the cops will be looking for a bald girl with a bald guy on crutches. <laughs> Tough call, no? Huh? We've, we've got to find somewhere to go. I don't know where it is. Look, all, all we have to do is get down to the marina without getting caught. Easy. Let's go. 
Want these? No. Doing fine. There you go. How did you know those were there? That's my dad's boat. Nero was thinking you'd turn into a real crim. <laughs> Sorry. Still want to go? Uh, I'd have to check my diary, but I think I could make time. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I've never been on a boat before. Jesus, I bet you get wet. Come on, you should be down below. No, no, it's my turn. I want to be the driver. Does anybody own it? I don't know. <sighs> so there you go. What do you reckon? Gives me the creeps. <laughs> How can that give you the creeps? I don't know. It's... empty. There's nothing there. That's the whole idea. I mean, people pay millions for that. Look at that. Look, look, miles of nothing. No buildings, no people, no cars, no pollution. It's just pure, uh, natural... Uh, nature! <laughs> What's fun? You! You look real natural. <laughs> what? I don't know. I've never seen you laugh so much. You look beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> get my hair back! <laughs> Come and get it, booty! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alec Mead. Hi, Dad. Kirk! Yeah, it's me. Where the hell are you? Are you okay? Kirk? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. I'm okay. We have been searching everywhere for you. We've had the police in here. Your mother is beside herself. Hang on. We found him. Maureen, he's on the phone. Oh, my God. Where is he? Is he all right? Where are you? We have had people looking everywhere for you. Hey, let me not to... Oh, Kirk, where are you? Are you all right? You've got to come. I'm 
Mum, listen to me. I'm okay. I just need a time out. Just a bit, just to get away. Kirk, it's Dad here. Listen, son. Why don't you tell me where you are? I will come down and pick you up. I can't do that, Dad. Kirk, will you think about what you are doing? I don't know what is running through your head, boy, but if it is our fault, I am sorry. And even if you won't think about us, think about that girl. We have spoken to her doctors. She is going to die if you don't bring her back. Kirk, do you realize that? Kirk? Kirk, are you still there? Kirk! Kirk, will you answer me? Kirk! Sorry, Dad. I've, I've got to go. I love you guys. Kirk, don't Bye. hang up. Kirk! about that? Not bad. How about that? And it's full. So there you go, you've seen it all. <laughs> nah. Still the dark bit yet. You haven't seen the whole thing till you see the dark bit. You know, Marty, sometimes you can be real hard to please. Nah. Not me. You just gotta look harder. <laughs> hey, Moon! Turn around. Marty wants to see your backside. It's just a fight. No, Marty, that's not the fight. <laughs> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, jeez. Oh,
just north of the city. There's a fire. Please, you've got to hurry. You've got to hurry or she's going to die. Kirk, come back up there. She's dying, isn't she? Perhaps. Why? It's just so unfair. She had nothing. But she'd made more out of life than, than anyone I know. Marty is a very special person. Yeah, then what's happened to her? I mean, she doesn't even seem to want to fight anymore. Maybe she's fought enough. Maybe it's her time now. Her time. That's what she always says. Her time. What about me? I guess you have to be able to let her go. Be thankful for the good time you had and just let her go. I can't. I love her. I know you do. I know. strong enough. We should have stayed here. You should have done your treatment. You know, for a boy, you're supposed to have everything. You haven't got much brains. I got what I wanted. Isn't that strong enough? 
Yeah, Marty. That's strong enough. I want to see them, mate. There isn't any mind. You're not looking hard enough. Open the blinds. Get in with me. There it is. The dark bit. That blots out all the stars. You see it? Yeah, Marty, I see it now. You gonna do my roll call? Cut it out, Marty. Please. I want you to do it for me. Never mind the roll call. Just rest. Anyway, I saw them, Moon. I did. I saw the whole damn thing. Patricia? Yeah. Juanita? Yeah. Kirk, that's enough. Joseph? Here. Yeah. Tony? Here. Yeah. Peter? Paula? Yeah. Marty. Who's Marty? She's a loser. We don't say her name anymore. Come on, Kirk. You should be back in bed. Leave me. Do what you have to, whatever it takes.
Heidi was not a loser, and I will say her name every day of my life. 